I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. I write our team with my. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's check. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. This platform consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting tea with some shade and some sensitive topics. So if you're sensitive to people's opinions, this will not be the platform from you. I will strike your nerves. Okay, now. In today's segment, we are going to be talking about Jay, who is Krishan's ex-bestie, okay? She got some more things to say, all right? She's exposing some things. She's just tired of all of the mess. She is releasing herself from the negativity and drama. Now, we're going to get into some audio of hers. Now, bear with me. I'm going to be talking in between points so I can let y'all know how I feel about each point that I'm going to be talking about. Because if I let the whole thing go, I'm going to miss some important points. Okay, that's what I'm going to do when I have like extra long audios or videos. Just putting y'all on. Now, I don't blame her. I believe everything that, she's saying, that she says. And I'm just going to tell y'all that how I feel about it right now. Krishan is not no angel. I'm pretty sure Jay is not an angel. But the people that have been around Krishan... They're tired of her, okay? Okay, so remember, Krishan, Marsh, and Jay were all besties, right? Now, there were speculations and allegations and rumors and everything about Krishan and Marsh not being friends anymore, okay? But there's going to be some type of something because Jay's going to speak about that. Um, Not in this video, but in my next video, I'm going to be talking about it. So, in this video we're gonna be talking about the audio that is circulating that i want to put you know some context on all right now don't they look like a damn uh, r&b group and krishan is the lead singer and those are her backup singers i don't know that's what it gives me every time i see a picture of krishan and them and stuff like that it just seems like krishan is like the center of attention to me call me smiley you have my number and it's like why are you talking about me if your supposedly friend told me and three people that was you she was on speaker first of all um she literally said uh i have to be smiley's friend because well i gotta be nice to smiley because i don't want her to hack my page like she did to everybody else so it's like smiley come you're not gonna learn your lesson the didn't want to post your music like when she was in jail so it's like Stop trying to clout chase with someone that don't even really have clout like that. They just have negative clout. Like Y'all know what's funny? Because when Krishan and Smiley first popped out and they was all bestie, bestie, buddy, buddy, I already thought it was fishy. It was kind of weird and was like off. You know, like how did they link up and click up and now they're best friends and Smiley's in her house and stuff like that. Smiley is an ass kisser. Okay, clearly it looks like Krishan is an ass kisser too because why would you want... You know what, let's get into the video. Everybody that don't like me, unfollow me right now. Like, because I don't want you guys on my page. And it's like, the person that don't... Talking about, oh, for clout, for clout. You barely got clout. Like, nobody wants your negative clout. It's all negative. Call me. Because it's like, you're the one that fuck you. And it's talking about you and you're skipping the part where it's talking about you. What lean? I don't do no drugs, bro. I got out the house where they do drugs. So it's like, I don't do no drugs. Like the person was bringing us drugs. And I literally sat there and I didn't take no drugs. Like when she would try to give me pills, like I didn't take them. Like, yeah, I would put it in my hand, but I wouldn't put it in my mouth. Like I'd be like, you just keep pressuring me to do drugs. Like I don't want to do drugs. I'm grieving right now. My dad died. And she had the audacity to tell my, my fiance, like, she should just kill herself. Like, y'all think that is friend-like? Like, I was there for her when she wanted to die. When she wanted to do all this, I let her in my home. I saw her cry and everything. And it's like, you're going to mistreat me when I was there for you and say, you owe da 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 Like, no. If anybody in your life tells you to unalive yourself, that is not nobody that cares about you. I don't care if you was mad. I don't care about what we're going through. If you say some shit like that to me, you are done to me. 
You understand? So I understand where she's coming from. And not Krishan and them peer pressuring for her to take drugs, allegedly. I believe it because Krishan looked like the type of person that will pray or pressure you into doing stuff that she's doing so she don't do it alone. You get what I'm saying? But let's get into the rest of this. You're just wrong, bro. You're wrong. You're talking about, oh, let's not give her clout. What clout? You're just scared for me to say what I really got to say. I saw the text messages. You said, let's not give her something to talk about. You mean the truth to talk about? You don't want me to say the truth. And you keep hiding behind God and all that. Like, bro, that's not, like, gonna help you. Like, it's not. Like, that's what we used to do with you. And it wasn't helping us. So it's like you was just manipulating with the word. And it's like, that's not good. Using the word against people and being like, hey, um, let's sit down and have a, what the f*** she be calling it? A study, whatever the f*** she call it. But it's really to sit down and talk shit about you. Not Krishan was having Bible study and all type of studies with her and her friends just for her to pinpoint out all the negative things to bash and belittle her friends about, allegedly. Mm. But to me, like I said, that's Krishan's character. We've seen a lot of the, her traits already. And nobody, Smiley or Krishan, should have called nobody a cloud chaser because they're the top cloud chasers. So how dare anybody call anybody a clout chaser? This girl has not been online. She don't go live. She don't be exposing things. She be minding her business, regardless of anything that's going on. If she has to speak what she got to speak, she's going to do that. So now, as y'all know, if people get out of character, that means they're, they're to a limit they can't cross. It's like, you're not God to judge me. Like, I get you could bring like a, a verse and stuff. But like there's been multiple times she brought a verse and she don't even finish the whole verse when we're fighting as friends. So it's like every time you're wrong, you don't own up to it. You just hide behind the Bible and be like, God's going to forgive me. But it's like all these other people around you, you're hurting them. You just got to own up to that and really be a good person and apologize to the people that you actually hurt. Like don't just hide behind the Bible. And that's not a good like trait. That's a manipulation tactic. Like, you always talk about, oh, blue this, blue that. But you're just like him. Like, you, like, literally, like, y'all all the same. If anything, at least he really looked out for real. Because when he tried to hand me money, you got mad that he was paying me for my work. He was like, oh, I was supposed to. But it's like, you never did. You never tried and paid us. Like, when let me try and be like, hey, Jay, I want to hire you. You was like... Now, I'm, I got her. I got her. But you never really got me. Like, you really didn't. You really paid me. Everybody else paid me on your behalf. And there was like, Jay deserves to get paid. And you was like, no, I got her. And it was like, when did you really got me? Like, you put me under a roof that I didn't need. My family owns property out here. I don't need your shelter. Like, I could go rent an apartment. <clears throat> My family owns apartment complexes. So it's like, I don't have to be under you. I was there for you. Ooh, but that sounds to me what Kashawn was doing because this is not the first time we heard of Kashawn being spiteful. Oh, I'm going to do this and blocking people's blessings. Remember the Jaden situation with the Zeus and then Taseki, but then she ended up giving the, and they was like chitter chatter behind the scenes. Yeah, she wants to be the type person to throw it in your face and be like, look, I did this for you. Nobody else did this for you. Because Lemmy is trying to hire your friend and you're blocking that, talking about, no, I got her. Why do you want all of that burden on you? Knowing you don't got it like that, clearly. Maybe you had it one point in life, but you don't got it like that to be given. Okay? So, at the end of the day, I just feel like Jay is tired of this stuff, and she is speaking what she's speaking. So, for you to not even be like, oh, thank you at all for anything, that's my stuff. Because I always told you thank you. I always said thank you. No, I don't need to. I don't need to use your card. Just use my car. Just use it. Just use it, Jay. Just use it. Like, you can use it. It's like, but now you want to say I stole from you? It's like, you said use my car if you need it. So it's like, like, I don't know what you, like, what, like, you want to talk to me? Like, come talk to me because everybody, all your fans need on your behalf. But you're scared, bro. Like, I'm not scared like you. I'm not scared. Bro, you went up to your sister and you didn't even put your baby down to fight her. Like, you said you was going to beat her ass. You told me a couple times, I'm going to beat her ass, watch. I'm going to beat her ass. Like, you had the opportunity. You didn't do it. At least me and Marge were brave enough 
to stand up to your sister like that's another thing people was talking about that they heard chitter chatter about the sit down with Taseki Kashan. They said that Kashan was scared that she was holding Kashan Jr. the whole time. That baby did not need to be there. He is sleeping. Why the hell does she always got that baby in her arms? He can't sit in the stroller and go to sleep. Why you got to carry him? In this part of the in, in the video, I think that Kashan is truly scared of Taseki. She know that Taseki would beat her up. Okay, that's why she had her friends jump on Taseki. Okay, it's given very much weird. And when people point out Krishan's weirdness, y'all call us haters. When we hold her accountable for her actions online, y'all call us haters. Now look at her friends speaking the truth. And I didn't even go there to stand up to her. I went there to like take responsibility for that for what I did. I was willing to get an ass whooping because I was like, damn, my father. My reaction was to defend Marge, not to, like, she was literally in the bus being like, jump her, jump her. And I'm just like, no, like, that's your sister, bro. So I'm just sitting, like, I'm literally just standing there looking at Krishan, give me the eye, like, beat her up, beat her up. I'm like, bro, that's your sister. Like, no. So when she told me to do it, I didn't do it. But once I saw her beat it, like, beating up on, on Marge, then that's when I jumped. That's when I'm like, what the f Ola's mom. Like, well, she got to come home to Ola. Like, that bitch is crazy, for real, so. She keeps talking, don't give her a call, don't give her a call. Like, the more you guys talk, her little fans, because I know she sit around and talk about people. Like, I've been around her. I know her. I know her. So it's like, I just woke up. So I'm just like, Smiley was talking about me? Smiley, you the last person that should be talking about me and Marge, because you was in the same household. He was there, trying to cloud chase. Like, come on. I could really talk shit if you was talking. I need to see the video so I could really be like, was my smile really talking shit? Because I could really say some shit. Like, y'all really think, I've been too nice. Like, I'm very nice, but I, I'm an Aries. So I could, like, bro, the worst person to mess with is an Aries, for real. So yeah, Smiley, you got my number. I'm not trying to get no clout. Y'all can get off my page if y'all don't like me. Like. I mean, us as females, we're always going to tell the haters, if you do not like me, you don't like the content that I'm putting on my platform, you can go. But guess what? They're not going to go. Let them stay. Let them watch and let them interact. Okay? Let them get the algorithm up because that's what they're going to do. You're cloud chasing. You're cloud chasing. Like, and first of all, peep game. Like, I'm not even going to say that because I'm going to give it time. I'm going to give it time. I'm going to just give it time. Why are you doing this? Because I'm tired of, like, the harassment, the mistreatment. Like, I'm... Okay, y'all. So, this is what I want to say about this whole Krishan and Jay Marsh. Whatever. In my other video, okay, um, is going to be Jay basically explaining certain things. I messaged her, asked her a couple questions because we got to get some context, right? I just want to put this video up. All right, first of all, we already know for sure that Jay's telling the truth. In my opinion, how I feel about it, listening and the things that I have seen over the years with Krishan and doing content on her, she's telling the truth, okay? Now, y'all can say, oh, you're a hater, you don't like her. I don't care. Y'all already know how I do on my platform. I don't care if I like you or dislike you. I hold anybody accountable. If it goes against what I believe in or my morals and stuff like that, action-wise, I'm going to speak about it. Because Sean has been doing spiteful things to plenty of people throughout the years. Plays victim, go online. I love Jesus. Let's have a Bible study. And everybody just yum, 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 eating it up, looking down. I'm not a gullible person. I'm not a gullible person. I see exactly what I see, and I feel how I feel. Just like y'all. Jay was tired you can tell when a person is tired it doesn't matter who you are and where you're from if somebody is stressing you out Krishan, we see her annoying from the outside now imagine the people around her that gotta deal with that dumb shit it's only but so much that a person can take and i see a lot of people a lot of people online why are you saying? Why are you coming online? Why you gotta come online? Why? Krishan always come online to expose some things. She's not doing it right. So that's basically what it is. Okay, y'all got your opinions. I got mine. This is my platform and this is my content. 
Krishan, I don't believe the oh mama. No, she's trying to put on an image right now, so she's not exposing. She's not coming out speaking about these things. She needs to make sure that she's really believable in this journey of hers that we heard plenty of times. So hopefully, this is it, but it's not because Jay even Jay has been around her. She sees what she does with the Lord. She sees that she's manipulate, manipulate. Oh my God! Listen, y'all. Y'all yeah, know exactly what I'm talking about. Jay said exactly what she needed to say. Krishan, sooner or later, she's going to have to come out. She's going to speak up too because behind closed doors, she's doing a lot of talking. Okay? She know that if she come out and start being on that rah-rah and doing all the extra stuff, people are not going to believe her little journey she got going on right now. So right now, she's keeping it on a hush-hush publicly. Jay's tired. Clearly, they're not friends no more, and it is what it is, okay? There's no need for anybody to, you know, bully Jay, harass Jay, just because she's speaking her truth. Everybody got a chance to speak on their truth. Either you stay. Sometimes people stay because they really love the person. They want to see if this is going to work out, whatever the case or situation may be. But sometimes you just got to let it go. Let it go. Is no way in this world, in the little bit of days that we got, because we don't ever know when we are going to be off this earth, for anybody to be around you in your life or anything, if they're not going to be 100% positive, or if you feel some type of way, if anything happens, or if you're getting dragged down, or if it's publicly and your image is being because of this person's negativity and no, we already seen how Krishan did. We we seen Krishan put hands on Marsh. We seen how she talks to them, and they're supposed to be her friends. They're not kids. They're grown ass women. So for me on the outside looking in, I always was like, mm, I can understand that that is their friend, and they're trying to work it out. They love her. They care about her and stuff. So they stuck around. But uh, it's but so much that a person can take. So this is her drawing point. And she said what she said, and it is what it is. Now, Krishan could come out and speak her truth and see what she has to say and tell her side of the story of things. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I believe everything that Jay is saying, we have been seeing a lot of these things play out in real time. So please. But anyway, I love y'all. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, click the notification bell, run it up, do whatever y'all gotta do, loungies. And I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> I brought a G wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah.